Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2015 animated feature film from Illumination slash Universal Studios Pictures, uh, Minions. So this is another hour and a half long, very quick, despicable me kind of film. Gru is in the very end of this. This primarily takes place in 1968 uh, when the Minions first get to America, basically. they We have an 11-minute origin of Granted, this is a prequel film, but the first 11 minutes of this film is just how the Minions came about, and uh, they started out as single-celled organisms, and then they were around during the dinosaurs, and they were around during cavemen, and then they were around during different, you know, as the years progressed and man became the dominant species, they always need someone to serve. They need a master to serve, creating mayhem along the way. So they were, you know, with Dracula for a while, they were with different other, you know, leaders, and then eventually, 1968 rolls around, they, uh, Stuart, Kevin, and Bob wind up uh, exploring so that way they could find a new master. Because they, they've been by themselves in a tribe in the snow for quite some time, and, and they're not really doing anything. Then some yetis come about as Kevin, Bob, and Stuart are, you know, trying to find a new master. So they go into Times Square, they uh, shed the giant fluffy coats that they are wearing made of animal skins, find some blue overalls and put them on their pill-shaped yellow bodies and then therefore we get the iconic minion image that you know we all know and love so scarlet overkill is voiced by sandra bullock and she is the first female supervillain. she's leading this convention in orlando florida uh, villain con and kevin stewart and bob uh become her minions S servers that's servants, successors, not really, but like, you know, Bob or Kevin, Kevin Stewart, Bob. Bob uh, takes a ruby away from her and trades her his bear, uh, Little Bob, um, in the course of all the chaos that everybody else is trying to get the ruby to be her, you know, next in line kind of a thing. And now her pro uh, prize is to try to figure out uh, to get them to work with her to steal the crown of England so that way she could become queen and rule the world and things like that. So it works, but then it doesn't work, and then there's chaos, and Queen Elizabeth is involved, and it's just a 60s comedy film, and it's just a 60s soundtrack, and it's just 60s rock, and it's it's 60s pop culture, and, and references, and costuming, and so attention to detail. It was very impressive watching this as the chaos ensued and then the minions finally all get back together. Giant Bob, no, Giant Kevin saves the day and then Gru comes at the very end as a kid and he steals the crown uh, from Scarlet, who steals the crown from the Queen again. And they are now uh, trying to figure out how to work with Gru because he is obviously the best supervillain. The hell with Scarlet Overkill. We're going to follow Gru now. So... It's pretty cool having the end credits then as Kid Gru working with Minions and dealing with different, you know, interactions and things of that nature, leading into the next Minions film, The Rise of Gru. So this is the origin of how the Minions met Gru, and then Rise of Gru is going to be the, well, it just came out. I haven't watched it, so it's, we're watching, we're, we're getting there. They're like first adventures of causing mayhem and stuff. I'm very excited. I can't wait. So Despicable Me 3 is the next one after this. I believe that's 2017. I don't remember if I watched it. I'm going to be completely honest. I do not remember if I watched it. I remember Despicable Me, Despicable Me 2, and I remember Minions. I don't remember Despicable Me 3, and I never saw Minions Rise of Gru. So I'm in for a treat for 4 and 5 out of the Despicable Me slash Minions franchise that we all have uh, been going upon. This is a good marathon. Good marathon. Great characters. I like that the Minionese is a mix of various languages, um, primarily Indonesian, Italian, Spanish, German, um, some English here and there, but then it's a lot of gibberish too. So it's very cool. It's very, very well done, very well conceived, very well executed. I am a fan of the Minions. I'm a fan of the Despicable Me franchise. On to the next review. Mahalo.